hey guys so i want to start this video out by expressing my gratitude for everyone that has been so supportive and has sent me so much love um i am overwhelmed by the amount of people that are still rooting for me and my family and um i am in a much better headspace each day gets better each day gets better um however this footage that you guys are about to see was filmed a few weeks ago and i was not in a really good headspace but i had the courage to film myself because i wanted to show like the effects that this illness has on me and my children and just really show some raw real footage because you never know what someone is going through and i really want to show just how important it is to just treat people with kindness because you truly never know what someone is going through people can look like everything is peaches and cream and be suffering so um that's really why i wanted to push this video out there um so i hope that it resonates um again thank you to all of you brave souls out there who were so open and transparent about things that you are going through or went through like it really makes me feel like i'm not alone which i think everyone that read through the comments got that same overwhelming feeling of just like i'm not alone like it's not just me so um I feel so good to know that I'm helping people and um, healing people and helping people realize that they need to heal and um, I'm full. I feel incredibly blessed, really, really blessed. And um, I'm a little nervous because this is really raw footage, but I really feel like it needs to be out there so i hope that i put it together beautifully in a way that it resonates and um i'm okay as i said i'm in a much better headspace but um i think i'm doing the right thing by being vulnerable so i hope that you enjoy it i hope that everyone is feeling good as best as they can and I hope that this makes you feel better. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for continuing to be here. And um, all of our new subscribers, thank you for joining us at this moment because I do feel like this channel is headed in a new direction, a great direction. And um, I'm excited to have you guys along for the ride. Um, I love you and I really hope that you guys enjoy. So I am checking in. It is a Thursday. The kids are currently on vacation. Killian has a stomach virus. Um, I am feeling very anxious at the moment. Um, I have a cleaner lady now who comes and does like deep cleaning and i don't really care how how it may make me look but i physically mentally and emotionally cannot at the moment so i am very fortunate to have this option um but um whenever she comes it just gives me like anxiety because i just feel like i should be able to do it um, and as I mentioned, Killian's sick, so we can't leave the house. So that just makes my anxiety even worse. And I physically could not do my workout this morning. I just couldn't, like, I, my mind couldn't 
I couldn't get my mind focused enough to actually do it. And I had did it two days in a row prior, so obviously that made me feel bad about myself. But um, um, there's a nice breeze that just hit me, so I'm thankful for that. I um, get really self-critical and it's really hard for me to even be on camera right now looking at myself because I feel like I look like a zombie and my skin is just terrible but this is me being honest and vulnerable because I made a promise to myself that I would and um yeah I thought I would just let you guys know how I felt at the moment because I felt like I was potentially about to have an anxiety attack um but this actually helped me like to just let it out and say it out loud definitely made me feel a little lighter and then this breeze hitting me so thank you guys for listening and um i grind my teeth bye <laughs> Ow, ow, girl. Look at my leg. You crazy? <laughs> you a what? What are you? Ah! Ow, ow, Zoe, Zoe, Zoe. Here I find myself again Time traveling only in my head From the past to future play More change, yeah, yeah, yeah. My emotions are valid But the goal is not to be triggered Every time, never mind It's just life So, I went to the market and I got a whole bunch of, of my favorite healthy stuff. I'm going to make my detox juice. I got bananas for Killian because he didn't eat anything all morning. Yes, Zoe. And my friend Jessica's calling, so I got to go. All right. So the day started out pretty good. I woke up this morning and I felt like clear. I felt okay. Killian's still sick. He's weak. He can't really eat anything. So we're still sort of stuck in the house. Um, I've made like these grand plans yesterday to, yesterday I ended up, when Abby got home, I ended up going out because the kids want a specific costume so I went to the store where I thought I saw that they had the specific costume and when I got there they didn't so then I went like kind of like on this useless chase to find the costume and I didn't find them and then I told the kids that we would go today we would like make it like an adventure and take the bus and go but um I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it I also wanted to work out but uh, again, I couldn't do it. I did go to the store and I got um, like some healthy stuff, like some stuff to make my detox juice. Um, 
like some just healthy snacks. Um, I got some bananas for Killian. I got some carrots for him. I got something to make for lunch. And um, I'm having like intense anxiety right now because I keep feeling like, like I just feel like I need to, the kids are just watching TV and I just feel like they need to be like doing something else. Like they need to be like going out or even though Killian is sick, it's like mentally I can't, like I'm just like, it's like, I can't really describe it, but um, it's like the anxiety, I could feel it in my body physically. And I have medication for anxiety, but I try my hardest to not take it. I try to like, you know, breathe and just try to like let it pass and just get over it. But it's just really hard when I'm with the kids because it really like paralyzes me. And like, it's time for me to make lunch right now. And, um, bonjour, <laughs> it's my name, but um, I don't know. Um, but I don't have a choice and I got like really intense anxiety today because I just like got into my head about this whole thing, like being vulnerable and basically like sharing my experience and like what I'm going through and my issues that I'm having. And I just keep feeling like, yeah, so many people are gonna be like, you know, like, like, People are gonna judge me and you know be like well like why can't you do these things and like you know sort of like kind of like I don't know just like not understand that it's really difficult for me and um, but I'm hoping that because the people that have been here with us and have seen me in my good moments and that have seen that when I'm capable of like doing things and being productive that I that I, I do it and there's sometimes when unfortunately where I can't and it's really almost like I'm paralyzed and I really can't like I can't I just can't do anything um, but I said I would do this I said I would be vulnerable I said I would careful oh you're so good I think you could give him a little bit more thank you Oof. good job Oof. that's right at the top <laughs> be careful the top's on the top's on the top's on <laughs> I forgot you did you silly goose go Okay, that's good. What do you say, Killian? Killian, what do you say? Well, welcome, Killian. Did he say thank you? Yeah. He did? Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Thank you. He said thank you. Thank God for my children. There you go, there you go. Don't let the shell get, there you go, there you go. Oh, make sure you don't let the shell get, put your finger in it, stick your finger in it, yeah. There you go, there you go. Don't let the shell, there you go, okay. There you go, good girl. Let all that come out, because we only got one, that's right. Let all that come out, good girl.
I got it. I got it. There you go. Use the dryer. Um, where's the rice? Um, is it in here? Okay. Let me see. A little bit right here. Good girl. Good girl. Huh? What do you mean? I'm gonna make a good one. So what do you want to help me do? You want to help me um do the rice? Um, I want to help you. I to... make the bread and meat? Okay. Yeah, I want to help you put, um, to put the this. flour. Yeah. Okay. And to, to do anything for each. Um, also want to add that, um, something that helps with the A word. I don't want to say it in front of the kids is um um either really hot or really cold water. Uh, like spider! Putting, putting it on your hair. Spider! Like, spider! Like, um, there's no. Oh uh, yeah, there is a spider. Oh my God, there is a spider. <laughs> there's a spider. <laughs> you little silly girl. <laughs> you little silly girl. Now we just faking. We're just faking. There's not really a spider. Yeah, cause. That was a spider. That's just a fakey spider. A spider! Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Breathe out. Take a deep breath. Okay. Little um, tip for my fellow People that have that big A, um, if you can muster up the energy or just get yourself to a place where you can move and it's not paralyzing, especially if you're a parent, I'm speaking to like parents out there because I think, I think the situation is a lot different when you don't have another human being to be responsible for. But um, if you do, if that is your situation, um, get really hands-on with your kids. It helps. It really does help. Yeah, and get your channel to your mom. And get what? A channel to your mom. A channel to your mom. What's that mean? That means she loves us. Yeah. And you'll see that your kids... Um, be nice. Yeah, and that your kids just want. Clean up. Yeah, your kids will help you, and your kids will be sweet with you, and because they, they just want you. Do hug. Yeah, because they just want you, and we have so much. I know for my, for my, me personally speaking, I have a lot of fear and the big A because I always feel like. I don't do enough with my kids. I'm not doing enough. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, but. Um, and do you give love to your mom? Yes, make sure you give love to your mom, all the kids out there. And do you get kissy? Big kisses and huggy. Mwah. And do um, huggy. Huggies. And it just, um, it'll kind of, it kind of releases some of that because you see them and you see that they're good and they're like turning into these little humans, you know? You know, so you kind of you give yourself a pat on the back and kind of be a little a lot nicer to yourself. Okay, I think this one's ready. You ready to start? Yeah. The balance between problem solving and the universe working itself out All that I have is all that I need But to actualize it I can't doubt, no doubt My emotions are valid But the goal is not to be triggered every time Never mind, it's just life it's okay for my sanity I choose peace and I'll fall
So, um, we are attempting to get out of the house today. Killian's feeling much better. And, um, I often find that fresh air, moving my body, walking, really helps to just clear up some space in my mind. This little boy right here. We had such a hard time because I had to do his hair. Today was hair day and... It was such a hard time, but I wanted to show you guys because now Killian and Zoe, they make their own beds. So I want to show you guys the beds right now. Let's go. So Zoe did her own bed. And as you can see, she is extremely proud of herself. This is probably the best she's ever done. She has her Nunu's all set up. She put the comforter all the way down. Good job, Zoe. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a pat on the back. There you go. <laughs> Killian, oh, oh, oh. Mr. Killian is now trying to backtrack. There you go. Now, Mr. Killian, because before he did a little tricky thing, but now his bed is magnificent as well. So everybody give, Killian, give yourself a pat on the back as well. Good job. Now, we are about to get out of this house and go get some fresh air and go get some food and go get Halloween costumes. And two, I'm showing my pumpkin I made. Ah, okay. Zoe made a pumpkin. Ooh. It's evil. It's evil. Oh my God. Does look kind of evil. Kill, where's your pumpkin? Where's your pumpkin? <laughs> we are finally headed out. And the amount of that is pulsating through my body right now is you can't even imagine. But obviously, <laughs> they just tried to scare me. I have to mask it as best as I can so that the kids are not affected by it. Um, come on, let's go. Let's go. Boom. All the Boom. I, come on, Zoe, let's go, Mama. All that I feel like doing right now is being under the covers in my room, but uh, it's not possible. Give me a hand. We're going first. We're going to the store to get Zoe's sandwich. No, we're going to get her jumbo, jumbo sandwich, and then we're going to get. Hey everybody! Mama, Mama, which way is the little beach? The little beach is this way. It's the same way that we're going headed to the to go to go to the store. So we're going to get. Um, we are, I want to go to the little beach. We're going to the little beach. We're going to the store to get Zoe a sandwich for lunch and then Killian and I are going to go get a fruit bowl, a smoothie bowl. But Zoe doesn't like the smoothie bowl, of course not. So we have to go get Zoe something different. And um, we're going to go and wash the water. What happened? But I already feel um, a little better. Just the fresh air being outside, which is just such a contradiction because I have so much surrounding like going out and like putting on clothes and like seeing people. But when I go outside, I feel so much better. So it's like a daily struggle. <laughs> but we did it. We did it, right? What is that in your hand? Oh, Zoe. We did it, Zoe. The goal here, as you guys can see, oh, it smells like boo boo. Be careful, a, a, a dog poop in it just now is fresh. The goal is to deal with this and not let it affect my children as much as possible. 
What did you just say? Where's God? Where's God? Yeah. God is here. In there. God is in there. God is all around you. God is in there. God is in there. Yes, he God is. is in there. Yep, God is everywhere. Let me show you. You want to know you guys want to see a really, really cool way to know there's God? Take a breath. That's God. I feel something. We got a little dry spot right here. I feel something. We gotta put some cream right here. Oh yeah, let's let's show everyone your arm. You wanna show everyone your arm or no? No? Yes or no? Yeah. We're a little we're a little that's a sensitive subject right now for us. You don't wanna be brave and show everyone? You know, but let me do the reason why I tell you that is because so many people have the same thing as you. So if you're brave enough to show people that you know what, I got this, but guess what? It doesn't change anything. Killian has eczema guys. But guess what? We're dealing with it. We got the treatment for it, and we're not gonna let it affect us, right? Because it doesn't change Killian. He's still Killian, right? You thought he needed them, but he's not coming back again. So he's gone, leaving then. You won't see him again. It was convenient, but you won't be staying friends. And you know that, sweetie, you know that. Think you knew it before, but you just ignored that. So now you won't take back, but there's no refunds here. So you sort of hurt, it makes you see clear That you were just, you were just lost, you were just lost But now you found, and you realize it wasn't at all Like what you created in your mind It wasn't even nice, you wasted all your time You didn't even like him in real life He said he thought it would be nice if we Stairs jack you up Swept off in a moment Sitting in his car But you know He won't take you far And you know that Sweetie you know that Think you knew it before But you just ignored that So now you won't take back But there's no refunds here So you sort of hurt It makes you see clear you were just, you were just lost, you were just lost But now you found, and you realize it wasn't at all Like what you created in your mind It wasn't even nice, you wasted all your time You didn't even like him in real life Real life Talking about that It just feels nice But let's get back to real life Real life Talking about that real life Holding on cause it just feels nice But let's get back to real life Okay guys, so green juice. Oop, my phone fell. I like it when it's when you first make it because it's still warm. And I don't know why, but I like it warm. But um 
Yeah, so I made my green juice. And um, I am about to do some yoga. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit of cardio because I have been eating crazy. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of cardio. And then after that, um, after that, it'll be time for lunch. The kids and I will have lunch and then I'll take them to each of the stores around here because they're allowing the kids to go trick-or-treating because Halloween is on Monday today is Sunday so tomorrow um, but I think I'm gonna end the video here I think that you guys I think you guys kind of got the gist of what I wanted to give you guys I'm um, interested to see how it will all come together because it's like all over the place right now and it's not even clear in my mind how i want to put it together but um at least it's making me be creative because i really want to put it together in a way where it's felt and it resonates and um yeah I hope that everyone has a good Halloween. Mm. Y'all, these kids, they literally pushed me yesterday. I stopped filming because I just got, like it was no way that I could be present and like take care of what I needed to take care of and film because of my anxiety and I was just, like my sensory overload was just at an all time high. Like it was like everything around me was just like piercing me. Like the sounds, the kids, the noise, like it was just a lot. So I couldn't film, but um, the kids had a really good night. I will tell you that the kids had a really good night. And um, yeah, but I really wanted to make this video because I wanted to be true to myself. I feel when I'm like in this space, I feel like I have to hide myself and not show the world this part of me that I'm currently facing in my struggle. And um, I don't feel like that's right. So I'm being brave right now and I'm sharing this part of me. Um, with you guys and if we're family then you guys will accept me in all my glory <laughs> so um uh, i hope that this will shed some light to you guys will understand why i've been away but i will not allow this to keep me away anymore like this has taken the front seat of my life for far too long two years and I'm done, like, I'm done. I gotta move forward and I gotta embrace it and continue to figure out ways to live, really live and get through this and push through because it won't take me down. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I hope that you guys are still with us on this journey on this ride on this life journey and um i gotta go do my workout and my yoga because i didn't do it and i have the energy to do it today so i love you guys i love who loves me and um Remember to be kind because you never know what someone's going through. Like, truly, you never know. So, and drink your green juice. <laughs>